everybody today i'm showing you another cool self-balancing robot now most of the robots that i've covered whether the cube robots or the motorcycle that are self-balancing they require you to balance them first and then they keep it and if you disturb them if you push them if you nudge them they activate a motor to counteract that and remain balanced this one is cool because it actually gets itself to balance so it's a very cool effect let's see how it works first of all you have the standard motor mechanism you have a simple battery it's a rechargeable battery it has usb connectivity so you can actually connect it to your computer for programming you have a switch here And that's how it balances if I drop it if I do it like that So that's the only difference that I see between this and the other ones that I've covered. Those are a little bit harder to actually get to get the balance, especially the cube ones, because you have to make sure that you have the X and Y positions. And for the single point balancing cube, you have to also get the X, Y, and Z points right. Now, as you notice, I don't actually put it on the desk. I use this. And the reason is if it, this desk is a little bit slippery, so when it's actually moving, trying to balance itself, that could cause issues. So that's one way. You also want to have an area that can actually move because sometimes when you notch it, it actually rolls over and then it tries to balance again. So that's another one. If you have a larger one than the one that I have here, that's even better. But the design is pretty simple. You can also open this and take a look at what's inside. You can also connect it to your computer and program it. So you have three buttons here also. That's about it. For more information, please go to Gadgetify.com, also YouTube.com at Gadgetify. I have covered a bunch of these balancing robots. I just wanted to show this because it's a little bit of a cooler effect because it tries to balance itself, whereas the other ones require actually manual action for that to happen, getting the X, Y, and Z points right to make sure that they balance. So this is much more simpler in design. Thanks for watching.